All right, so this is unique ID, and you said you're good with part A, and you are not good with part B. I'm looking at part B, and it looks like what I'm thinking what happened when you were reading it is that you saw it says uh, m this prefix merge uses an algorithm similar to merge sort. And you saw that, and all of a sudden your head was filled with question marks like, oh, I don't know, merge sort. I didn't understand it before. I don't understand it now. So I'm just not going to continue thinking about this problem. But um, yeah, you don't really need to understand merge sort to complete this problem. Right? But just to be clear, um, how does merge sort work? Is it takes this array, splits this guy into this array here, then takes this array, splits him in half here, then splits, takes this guy, splits him to here, and then now that it reached the base case, it goes ahead and bubbles up goes down to the right side it reached the base case and then right here after it reached the base case on the right side it comes back up and when it comes back up it takes this array and this array and merges them right and it merges them using a, like a standard a regular sorting algorithm where it checks if this one is lower than that one and if it is then it puts yeah I think this merge is putting them in backward order where the highest is on the left side the lowest is on the right side Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going down. So then it merges them and puts the lowest one here. It compares the two, puts the lowest one here and the highest one here. And then from there, it kind of bubbles. Well, it bubbles up, then down, then down, then down. Anyways, um, that, that little check right here where it checks, like, is this one smaller than that one? And it is. Then it goes first in the array. Then this one gets put here in the second element in the array. That's, um, that's the sort that they're talking about over here. Okay, that's like because it's a uses an algorithm similar to the merge step of a merge sort, right? And that's the merge step is where you kind of use a regular sorting algorithm to put the two arrays together. And so what is this asking us to do? It's asking us to take this list one and list two and compare the two um what are these guys? Customer objects. And if the one is lower, like this one is lower than this one. Wait a second, let's see, how does this work again? We got the name and we got the number. Okay, if two or more customers have the same name, then they are further ordered by the ID number. Okay, so it takes these two, compares them, and it looks at the names, and since Aaron, the A's are the same, right? But then the R's and the A is not the same, so, um, Aaron comes alphabetically before Arthur and since that's true Aaron's gonna go first into the array and then once that happens then Arthur which hasn't been put into the result array yet gets compared with Baker and Arthur of course is first so it comes gets placed here then Baker and Burton are compared and so on as it works its way down okay um, and then one uh, one constraint is that if you have doubles in the array only one um, copy gets placed into the result array. So if you have these two guys, then you will eventually have this here. Okay. Um, okay. So how do we do that? Well, we have the compare customer method that we wrote for part A, right? And so compare customer, it's going to return either a zero or a positive integer if A is before C alphabetically. Oh, I'm sorry, no, if A is after C alphabetically. And then if this, I'm sorry, C1 is, yeah, if C1 comes before C3, then it's negative. So this is C1's before C2. This one's C1's after, right? Um, and then zeros if they're the same. So we can use this method to help us out as we're merging the two. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. Um, I'm not going to add anything else except for this one method called prefix merge. So let's just go public prefix merge and it's going to be static void public static void 
it's going to take in three lists. So it's going to take in C1, C2, and results. I'm doing this shorthanded. Okay, so I hope you're aware. Um, if I didn't, I would put the types here, right? I'd say customer C1, customer C2, and the customer result, as we have here. And uh, let's see. So length 1 is greater than results length. Length 2 is greater than results length. Length create list 1 has no duplicates. List 2 has no duplicates. And list 1 and list 2 are sorted in, in order. Okay, so we could take these as prerequisites or preconditions. And so how is this going to work? Well, let me move this guy out of the way here. And um, yeah, so first thing we want to do is iterate through the lists, right? So we have like a for loop. So we'll say for var, I'm um, sorry, int i is equal to zero, i is less than c1 dot length, and then i plus plus. And then we would also need to iterate through the second list, I believe. So let me copy this. Yeah, so we're going to have to cop iterate through the second list. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we do J. And the second list is going to go to C2.length. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. And uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to say list C1 dot compare to compare customer of C2 yes and we're gonna do sub I and here we're gonna do sub J and we're gonna put this as a boolean expression so we're gonna say if C1 sub I dot compare to C2 sub J then what do we want to do okay so if this is greater than zero. Whoa. Okay. If that is greater than zero, that's positive. So it's positive when C1 comes after alphabetically C2, right? Because here S. Smith comes after A. Anderson. So let's come back over here. This is if C1 is after C2. Then we're going to do this. And so if this is the case, then we need to stick C2 into the array. Okay. So what can we do? We can say int index equals zero. I'm going to be using this for the result. So say r index, the result index. And if that's true, then I'm going to say result, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, result sub r index is equal to c2. Because c1 comes after c2, if this is the case. And what else do I want to do? And that means. Yeah, I guess I don't want to do two for loops. I guess I want to have two indices. Okay, one for the first array and one for the second one. So I want to do C1 index equals zero, and then int C2 index equals zero. Okay. Um, and how many times do we want to iterate? We want to iterate through the length of result, actually. I'm sorry. this guy back and this is going to be I I don't need an R index okay and then here this is going to be C1 index and this guy here is going to be C2 index okay looks good all right so I'm iterating through result and the first iteration i is equal to zero so i'm putting the c2 into result sub zero if this is true okay and if that's true i also want to increment my c2 index okay so c2 index plus plus 
right? So then this guy gets incremented to here because I put Aaron into the array, uh, the result array. And then I'm going to do else if the other is true. I'm going to do if that is less than zero. And if that's true, then I'm going to stick the other one into the array. right? So I'm going to do this right here. And I'm going to put C1 into the array. And then I'm going to increment C1. And then I'm going to do else. And it will go into the else if it is equal to zero and they are identical. And if they're identical, then it doesn't matter which one I put into the array. right? But I'm going to put one of them into the array. And I'm going to increment both C1 and C2. All right, because like if these two are identical, then I'm sticking one of them in, doesn't matter if it's C1 or C2, into the result array. And then I'm going to increment the index to 1 and this one also to 1. So I'm going to skip them both, right? That's why I'm doing that. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. And do I return anything? No, it's a void method. Yeah, I think that is it. Yep. Yeah. And so, yeah, since these uh, um, arrays are objects that are coming in as as arguments, by changing up uh, the elements in result, I'm also changing the elements in result wherever it was referenced earlier. Right. So there's no need to return it. Um, and that's prefix merge.